Number one, know what you really want. So many times we think we want something, but then once we get it, it doesn't change our state of happiness. So there was a study done that once people make, I think it's $75,000 a year or more, they don't become any more happy. So we all think that we're chasing some raise at work or, or some better house, all that stuff. That's not really what we're looking for. At the end of the day, what do you really want? And I've coached so many people, I've had so many people um, I, that I've asked this question, what do you want? And they come back with, oh, I just want to get this Range Rover, or I just want to get this new car, or I just want this new house. If only I had this, I would be happy. Well, that's why I asked the question, what do you really want? Because so many times as we get further into this process and you start really thinking about what you actually want, when you got that thing that you thought you really wanted, it didn't make you any more happy. So what do you really want? And what most of us really want Again, at the foundation of all of our desires, it's personal freedom. So what do you really want? The second thing is, why do you really want it? Why? What's the why behind it? So for me, Kara and I, my wife, we decided early on that we were going to make memories over possessions. Now the crazy thing is, once you get your mindset straight, you can have both. You don't have to have one or the other. My, my kids have seen the world, we've traveled all over, and, and a lot of people would say, well, yeah, that's you. No, this is the exact same thing that I did using the same formula and it's simple. You've just got to change your mindset. So why do you want it? For me, it was about personal freedom. What did I really, I didn't want to miss kids games. I didn't want to miss a soccer game. I didn't want to miss a football game. When my boys were younger and they rode motocross, I didn't want to miss those events. Sometimes you had to travel. When my daughter was on dance and we had to travel sometimes a day, stay overnight, I didn't want to miss any of that. So I told myself early on, the reason why I want this was my personal freedom. And, and again, that doesn't have to be your thing. That might just be, you've just got to figure out what it is that you really want. Why do you want it? Why is this important to you? And then the third thing is take action. If you're not taking action, which is probably maybe one of the most important parts, they're, they're all important because you could go take action and if you're going after something that you don't really actually want, you may end up getting that and then you've spent all this time and energy and effort working for it, just like the retirement conversation. If you really think that what you're working for is to be able to retire 65, 70 years from now, you're gonna spend time taking action, work your whole life, and then wake up one day and realize that, again, you spent the best years of your life um, working for that thing. Did you actually want it? So take action, it's extremely important, but you've gotta know exactly what you're taking action around. So. You can dream and want everything in the world. You could have the first two things and the reality at the end of the day is if you don't take action, then you're never gonna accomplish anything. So take action is extremely important. The fourth most important thing is measure it. So once we've decided what do you really want and then we've decided why do you really want it and then you begin taking action, now we've gotta measure results. So we all need a scoreboard. You know, if you go to a NBA game or a college uh, basketball game, what do you see? You see a scoreboard, right? Because if they were just going up and down the court and somebody wasn't keeping score, what would be the point? You figured out what you really want. You figured out why you really want it. You're taking action. How, how do you know if you're really getting there? So you've got to have a starting point. Where did you start at? And, and what are you doing along the way? You've got to measure it. And then the fifth part of it is adjust because we're all going to change at different periods of our life. We're all going to decide that what we thought we wanted was not what we really wanted. We're all going to um, see that sometimes the economy can affect certain things in our decision. Outside forces can affect a plan that we may or may not have had in business. So once we figured all that out and we begin measuring it, you've got to be flexible enough to adjust. Um, I don't think you should adjust every single time, obviously, because if you're always moving the goalpost, then, then you're never going to get there. But at the same time, we've got to be flexible enough to understand that sometimes our desires are going to change and sometimes the outcomes need to change too. And so just be flexible and adjust along the way.